Hi there, I'm Kate from Be It One Healing with Horses and I just wanted to make this video here to have a chat about how energy realignment sessions can help you if you've had a fall or accident with your horse or if you've lost your confidence. So what I'm going to talk about are um, kind of the instance of where you might have had a, a fall or an accident with your horse. Um, and then secondly, we'll talk a bit about, uh, so, so that in that we'll talk about how it may have affected your confidence and how you're feeling. Um, secondly, we'll talk about how uh, it may, you may have, you know, suffered an injury and you may be experiencing pain. Maybe your fall happened, you know, 10 years ago and you're still uh, experiencing pain. So we'll talk a bit about that. And then thirdly, we'll talk a bit about confidence um, that that might have waned a bit maybe you're a bit nervous maybe you've come back to riding after a number of years and you feel a lot more nervous than you used to and you can't really understand why or, or shape those nerves so we'll talk a bit about that as well so um what i'm going to refer to when um we're releasing energy in these energy realignment sessions i'm just going to talk about trapped negative emotions and there are a lot of other different types of energies that we release but these are sort of the main ones um and just ensure that i don't <laughs> overwhelm you with too much information so um trapped negative emotions are basically exactly that they're trapped negative energies in our bodies that uh, would have been negative emotions so it would have been something like nervousness energy panic energy um grief terror those types of emotions and we kind of ask ourselves well why do we trap these negative energies and it's kind of not really known but there's some theories that we trap them because the body doesn't want to go there so for example with grief it might we don't want to fully feel the grief because it's just so overwhelming or we don't want to fully feel anger because maybe we don't think that's a particularly nice emotion to feel or a good way to to be so we instead of fully processing the emotion we're potentially trapping it somewhere in our body um, and another theory is um for example, when we're going through a traumatic event, like a fall from a horse or, you know, escaping a burning building, we don't have time to sort of go, OK, I just want to process this, uh, this terror right now. No, we can't do that. We've got to escape. <laughs> We've got to sort of deal with the situation at hand. So the body has these mechanisms in place to trap these emotions kind of to deal with at a later date. But then if we don't deal with them, they can potentially cause issues and problems for us. So in the first scenario, if you've had a fall or accident with your horse, you may have experienced some of those emotions I've already mentioned, like panic and terror um, and you know anxiousness, nervousness. So your body may have trapped those emotions within it. So then the next time you go to, to get on your horse, you might feel those emotions kind of stirring up and kind of an echo of them um, and then you know obviously you go on a bit of a um, what's the word vicious circle that's it um, where you know we're feeling a bit nervous and then the nervous trapped energies in our bodies are vibrating a bit more and then makes us feel more nervous and then our horse might feel those emotions so they start feeling nervous too and then you kind of get in a big sort of vicious circle and a big loop of nervousness. <laughs> so um, in, in that scenario, in energy realignment sessions, we, we would release these trapped negative emotions and other energies that may uh, be around that, that particular incident. And, and not just that incident, it might be kind of thinking about it afterwards, because if we replay things in our mind, it's almost as if we were there and it's happening again, so we can actually retrap emotions when we do that. So we're not deleting the event from your subconscious mind, we're just neutralizing it. So we're neutralizing the emotions that were felt uh, during, during the incident and after the incident, so that 
when you go when you think back to it you won't think you, you won't start feeling those things in your body again you just think oh yeah I remember when you know I fell off my horse <laughs> um and then that obviously will then help you move forward because when you go out riding again you're not gonna kind of stir these emotions up again and you know for example if if a car was involved and you're on your horse on the road and you, you see a car and then that might sort of trigger those trapped emotions to sort of fire up and and cause some more nervousness and anxiety so in those sessions we would clear clear that for you um, to help you feel more confident when you go out again with your horse and your horse if your horse was involved um, and you feel like you know they've been affected in some way you know uh, they could benefit from a session as well um, but because horses are very very sensitive to our energies I do always recommend that we do definitely do a session for the the person as well um, so the second scenario, um, if you've had a fall and you've hurt yourself in some way, broke your arm, um, twisted something, fractured something, whatever it may be. So you might sort of be physically uh, healed now if, if it was a fracture or something, but you might be experiencing sort of residual pain from that, um, which may affect your riding, may affect your day to day life. So what can happen when we go through those experiences, um, the trapped emotions during the event, there's my little sappy there, <laughs> during the, that event can potentially trap in those areas of weaknesses. So if we've fractured our wrist, um, we might trap those panic and terror in our wrist. So that will then lead to potentially that kind of niggling ongoing pain um, because we haven't released those trapped energies there. And there could be other energies as well, like physical trauma energies and things like that, which um, can get trapped. So um, even if maybe your, your confidence is fine, it might be that you've just got that ongoing niggling pain and, and things like that that's affecting your riding, that um, energy realignment sessions can potentially help. I actually suffered from a lot of right hip pain for many, many years, and I did a lot of different therapies, manual therapies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it wasn't until I found the body code method, and I actually released physical, I think it was physical trauma energy from my right hip from a fall I had from a horse when I was 13. And I remember it, it was an almighty kind of kamikaze fall, kind of. <laughs> I used to just throw myself off in those days. <laughs> like, I can't be bothered to hang on, I'm just gonna hop it. <laughs> Obviously in a lesson though, but um so so yeah, so energy realignment sessions can really help uh release those trapped energies in, in those areas and kind of give you a life back really if you if you have been suffering from pain uh for a long time. So that is another option uh, if, if that's something that resonates with you. Um, and then the third scenario, uh, maybe you've come back to riding after, you know, you used to do it as a child and you've come back to it as an adult or just some things happened and you're just not really clicking with it. You're feeling a bit nervous about, um, going out and things like that and you just can't really understand why nothing's happened like a, a major accident or anything like that but you just kind of got these nerves and, and anxiety now um, as we get older we kind of um, accumulate a lot of emotional baggage in the form of these trapped negative energies so if for example you you might call yourself an anxious person or a uh, nervous person it might be that you're kind of accumulating a lot more of those trapped energies so that it might just get to a point even though it's not specifically about riding it's just you're vibrating at an anxious anxiousness level um and you know 
a bit like that vicious circle loop I spoke about a moment ago. You start feeling anxious, your horse feels that anxiety, they start feeling anxious, you feel more anxious because your horse is feeling anxious and you're like, oh my God, what's going to happen? <laughs> so you kind of get into that, that sort of feedback loop that isn't going good places. <laughs> so um, energy realignment sessions can help you release sort of past nervousness and anxiousness and um, I also work with something which I call the emotion generator. Oh, yeah, I call it the emotion generator. <laughs> um, this involves different parts of the body that are involved in generating emotions. And what I find in most people and most horses is that this is operating in overdrive, in that um, we find it hard to regulate our emotions. So when I work on the emotion generator for people and horses, we, what we tend to see and what the feedback I get is people feeling kind of instantly calmer. Um, and it can be a bit weird because you sort of feel like, well, I should be having an emotional reaction to this, but I'm not. <laughs> um, but, you know, yes, it's good to have emotions, but it's, it's good to be able to have them a balance so that we're not kind of flying into this nervousness or anxiety when it's maybe not necessarily appropriate or needed. Um, obviously emotions are needed and uh, they do help to tell us things. So um, yeah, working on that can really help you uh, become more balanced um, and, and feel more confident when you go out. So what can happen is, you know, your horse can have their emotional reaction to something because that's what they do that's what we all do um but instead of you maybe then getting nervous because your horse has suddenly gotten really nervous you can remain in a balanced state and your horse is going to want to entrain to that they want to come back down to that balanced state and they'll be like oh you know emily's calm that's a much better way to be. I think I'd be okay to calm down too, instead of you both going into that vicious circle that I spoke about. So, so that's kind of the third scenario there. Um, and there might be other unique scenarios, but uh, those are the general three that I just want to talk about in this video. And, um, you know, you might be new to energy work, but um, I have a free 20 minute consult if you want to have a chat about how how it works and if it could maybe help your scenario and you know if, just if you have any other questions and the one thing to remember about this work is that it can be done by a distance so I can work with anyone anywhere around the world and uh, yeah it's it's uh, really great to help you uh, release trapped emotional baggage that can help you move forward on your journey with your horses so if you have any questions just get in touch